Here's a quick demonstration of the Raven R60 cruise control system. First we'll be trying in an electronic vehicle uh, at a low speed and then we'll be trying in a petrol vehicle at high speed which is more typical. Um, so this is all done independently of the game's um, cruise control system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accelerate to around 5 miles an hour, use the car's dashboard sy computer system to engage it. It's now engaged and you can see the car's travelling at 6, so it engages at the speed you were at and it will continue to hold that no matter what sort of terrain you encounter. Um, it's based upon the wheel speed of the car, so if the wheels start spinning it's not going to be able to accurately judge that. It also doesn't have braking, so if you're going downhill you will accelerate faster. Uh, if you tap the brakes it will disengage. So let's switch over to a petrol vehicle. We'll choose the Sport one just so that we can get up to speed a little bit quicker. Um, so I will be jamming right out of clutch, so I'm just grinding the gears. So there we go, we've got up to a speed. I'll engage it, and you'll see the car is now starting to hold itself at that speed. Uh, you can look at the throttle in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, see how the car is modulating there. And you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen how it's not using the game's built-in cruise control system. Uh, with it being a manual car with stick shift, I can change through the gears and the car will continue to adjust its cruise control to match that. And that's about all there is to it really.